What's up you guys, it's Deepo here and today I'm going to show you how to create this camouflage texture in Photoshop. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free, then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So let's first start by creating a new document. So for that go to file and then select the option as new. After that you can set the height and the width as around 3000 pixels and then set the resolution as around 300 pixels per inch and then click on create. Now after that we need to create the base color for our camouflage. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color. After that you can set any color of your choice. I am going to set it as a dark green color whose hash code is 232C25 and then click on OK. Now after that we need to start creating the blob. So for that create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. After that let's convert this layer into a smart object. So for that right click on the layer and then select the option as convert to smart object. After that make sure your foreground and the background color are black and white respectively. If it is not then you can press the D key of your keyboard in order to bring the colors to that of the black and white. After that go to filter and then render and then select the option as clouds. And then again go to filter and then blur and then select the option as Gaussian blur. Now you can set the value of the radius according to your choice but do remember that the larger the radius the more smoother and the bigger the blobs will be. Now I am setting the radius to around 30 pixels. After that click on OK. And now in order to convert all these things into blobs go to image and then adjustments and then select the option as threshold. After that you can set the value of the threshold level according to the size of the blobs you want. I am setting it to around 135 and then click on OK. Now let me just show you what I was talking about the radius of the Gaussian blur. So for that double clicking on the Gaussian blur effect. Now after that I am increasing the radius to around 70 pixels and then click on OK. So as you can see as I increase the radius the blobs became much smoother and much bigger. Now let me just go a step back. Now after that we need to fill this white blobs with that of a color. So for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as color overlay. After that set the blend mode as multiply. And then select any color of your choice which you would like to be replaced as white. I am setting it as 4A, 5B, 42. And then click on OK. After that click on OK. Now after that we need this black color to be replaced with that of the base color which we had set earlier. So for that double click on the layer option which will open up the layer style. After that drag the left slider of this layer by one point. So as you can see as you drag it the black color disappears and a base color shows up. So after that click on OK. And now the next thing we need to do is create a second block structure layer but with that of a different color. So for that we will create a duplicate of this layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. Now after that let's first change the color of this duplicate layer. So for that double click on the color overlay option. After that keep the blend mode as multiply and change the color according to your choice. I am setting it as 8D9558 and then click on OK. After that click on OK. And then we need to change the size of the blobs as well. So for that double click on the Gaussian blur effect. And then you can increase the value of the radius according to your choice. And then click on OK. After that let's adjust the threshold as well. So for that double clicking on that. And then you can set the value according to your choice. And then click on OK. After that let's change the position of these blobs as well. So for that double click on the clouds effect which will re-render the clouds for us. And then click on OK. And now let's add one more blob layer which will allow us to add more color to the texture and it will also fill up the empty spaces. So for that again creating a duplicate of this layer. After that you can repeat the same steps as we had followed for the blob layer 2. So now as you can see after adding the third layer it is looking like a camouflage texture. Now let's add the clot texture as well in order to make it look more realistic. So for that go to file and then select the option as open. After that select any clot texture of your choice. Download link for the texture I am choosing is in the description below. Now you can press Ctrl or command on Mac plus A key of your keyboard in order to get the whole selection. After that press Ctrl or command on Mac plus C in order to copy the selection. 
Now you can go to our original document. After that, you can press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus V in order to paste the selection. After that, press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus T in order to bring up the transform tool. After that, you can scale and rotate the image as follows. So now this looks proper. After that, you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. After that, we need to remove the color from this cloth texture. So for that, go to image and then adjustments and then select the option as desaturate. And then you can change the blend mode of this layer to multiply. So now as you can see the texture has been applied but it is looking somewhat darker so for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as levels. After that click on create clipping mask icon so that it only affects one layer below it. And then you can change the mid tones and the highlights as follows. So now as you can see the texture is looking proper and giving a nice touch up to our camouflage texture. Now if you want to increase the size of this camouflage texture without repeating it then all you can do is go to image and then select the option as image size. After that you can increase the size of the image from here. I am setting it as 5000 pixels and then click on ok. Since we had applied everything in the form of a filter it will automatically change the size of the image without repeating anything. Now let me just go a step back to our previous size. So yeah that's it guys hope you guys like this video on how to create this camouflage texture in photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up it helps the youtube algorithm in spreading the video. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching bye bye.